This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 Yo guys, what's going on? It's our man here. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to make, um, like, the slide transition, which looks like this. So that is the slide tra 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 transition. Sorry, stutter. But that is the slide transition. So the way it works is there's just a bunch of colors that go down on the side. And they kind of just go down, and then another one comes down that way to wipe it all off. So... All this, all the pictures and everything, well, just all the colors that are in that, they're all made in hit film. So, here's what, here's how to do it. And I'm going to try to explain everything about, like, what I'm doing exactly, trying to slow everything down, and not just, uh, try to explain the terms, is what I mean. So, we're gonna go up here, and let's get started. So, we're gonna go up here to New, and we're gonna click Composite Shot. What a composite shot is, um, it kind of it's where you do all the animation part of it. So let's just name this uh, slide. Okay. So now we're gonna go up here to new, and we're gonna click plain, which just creates a black picture or whatever color. So, but that's not exactly what we're gonna do, because he. <laughs> It's kind of hard to make like palettes of colors that like match really well. So what I have is let me go ahead and this is going to be a quite difficult thing. So we're going to go ahead and just open up Google and put it down right here. Let's go to colorlovers.com. And it will take you to this. Oopsies. And so right here you can find colorlovers.com and you can click on palettes and browse. So look at this. We can go ahead and find all of our colors. And everything and it just gives you a very good mix and like how things look. So I think I'm gonna go up here with moments. So if we go ahead and just click on moments, right here is what we get. Let's go and move it over into this corner. Right there. Uh I guess I sit down anymore. Oh, whoopsies. I'm sorry guys. Should have been more prepared for this. right there okay so now we can go ahead and just take our little eyedropper here and I'm sorry it's not gonna work like this so I'm just gonna go and pull this over to my other monitor but what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this uh, like eyedropper right here so I'm just gonna pull that over here you won't be able to see it but you're just gonna click it and you're gonna drag it over to your color and then right there it pops up the color I'm not gonna name it or anything because they're all just gonna show up right there so you're gonna keep on going up to new plane then just bring it over and do it like that. So for this tutorial, I'm only going to use three colors. Actually, let's go with four. We can do four. Okay. So one more. There we go. So there are all of our colors. And that's all we need from Color Lover. Color Lovers. Sorry. Um, so that's all we need. So now we can go ahead and bring in our starting color, which is this one right here. Then it'd be this one next. This one. And this is the one we're going to end on. So you want the final color to be the one that's on top. So here they all are. And you're going to, since this is the one on top, we're going to control everything with that. So it's named New Plane 4. So right here, it makes this button right here, where it says None, you can parent uh, objects. So you can make this object, whenever I do something with this one, it does the same exact thing to that one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all those so I just made it new plane 4 new plane 4 new plane 4 so since they're gonna be coming down the side we need to rotate the top one because all the other ones will do the same thing rotate it 45 degrees so now they're on the side but here's the thing we need that to cover the whole thing so if we go ahead and go to our mouse wheel and just zoom out like that and then we can right click to drag to the middle so you're not going to set any keyframes yet or anything like that. You're just going to go ahead and size it up until it fits over the entire picture and a little bit more. So 203. So let's go to 205 just to make it uh, even, I guess. So now what you're going to do is we're going to take them out of frame. And we actually need to rotate this negative 45 degrees. Because we want them to come out of this corner. 
so that we can go ahead and drag that out of frame. So now we have nothing. So right there, there's our pig image. So now what we can do, we can go ahead and release all these from being parented. Because we want them to come down at different times. And we want the bottom one to come down first. So let's go ahead and go into this. We can go ahead and zoom down right here. So this is our zoom thing, which takes us farther into this. Like, like there's one second. And then when we zoom it in, that's one second. So we're going to go down into here, and we're going to choose position. So there we go. Let's go ahead and just start it a little bit later so it doesn't just um, automatically come down. Zoom in just a little bit more. Right about here. Okay, so we can go just drag out to a random time. And we're just going to make it come down and cover the whole image. So let's see how fast that was. We want it to go a little bit faster, so we can just click and drag our keyframe. A little bit faster. There we go. So that looks good. And we're gonna uh, change how smooth it is in just a second. So, um, after we get all these moving. So we have that one come down. And we want it to be about halfway when the next one starts coming down. So we're gonna just leave our timeline stretcher thing right here. And you're gonna go ahead and just. And well, actually, first we wanna measure how far this is. So you can see like whenever I click and hold this a white box appears and see so, yeah, how it says uh, 0 1 which means like 1 millisecond so we can go ahead and just drag that to over right there. So there's 26. Let's make that 25. It's easier to keep track of when it's like a number like that. So we want it to be almost halfway. So, let's make it 13. It's a little bit more than halfway. So then we can go ahead and go to our next plane, which is plane 2. And when you're already halfway, you're going to go ahead and click on your position, enable keyframes. Now you're going to go forward 25, right there, and you want to bring it down. So, there we go, and it's over everything. And I know it's quite small, but it's kind of hard to fit this whole image in whenever you're doing that. So now you're going to go back to the original one and go find 13. So now let's see what we have. So see how that was? And let's say we don't like that as much. So let's go ahead and like bring it down three. And what I did right there is all I did was I clicked and dragged to highlight both of those keyframes and now we can just drag them back. See? So we're gonna go ahead and just move those back three. One, two, three. So now it's only forward ten frames, I think. Let's see. Only nine. So let's make it ten, see what, how it looks. I don't really like that. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it back maybe one, two. So now it's at eight. Let's see. Yeah, that looks better. So now we've only brought it forward. Seven. This should be eight. Yeah, eight. So now right here we can go ahead and go forward eight. There we go. Now we can go ahead and go to our next plane. Click transform. And then click position. And go forward twenty five. Right there, and then we can go bring this down. Perfect. And then go ahead and. This is a Chucky Beat production. Wait, that's, yeah. And then you're gonna go back to your original. Go forward eight. Go to your top one, which is our final one. Click position. Then go forward 25. And then go ahead and bring the last one down. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. We can go ahead and zoom back in now. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, that looks really nice. But as you can see, it, it it's not as smooth as it was like at the very beginning, or like in my channel trailer or anything. It's not as smooth. So right here, we're going to zoom all the way out so we can see 
all those keyframes right there. And this is going to be kind of extreme. We're going to highlight all of those. And the way you do that is you're just going to click, left click, and then just drag up. So what you're going to do is we have different types of keyframes right here. We have convert uh, to constant. We have smooth, smooth in, smooth out, and then you have manual bezier. So this is a complicated transition, I say, or tutorial. So we're going to use the manual bezier. So automatically it's going to be a little more smooth. Yeah. So, and you can also slow this down if you want. You don't have to do it exactly like I am, but I kind of like it a little more fast. So let's go ahead and like highlight these two, which you, these are the, this, this is the first one that comes in. So we're going to just highlight those and you're going to go up here to value graph. And you ready to see things get your nuts? Look at that. Nuts. Okay. So here we go. We have it coming in at a diagonal. So both of those are equal. So this is it's a value graph, which means like we can see, we can control how smooth things are. This means it starts, the higher up it is, means like starts off smooth, speeds up, then slows down. See that? And since this one's on the bottom, it's gonna be the opposite. Slow, speeds up, slows down. So let's say we wanna make it speed up the whole time. We can go ahead and just select these. Go ahead and do that. So it's gonna go slow, speed up. So if you go ahead and just watch that. Yeah, see? But um, let's go ahead and just, sorry, let's go ahead and just go back. We'll just leave it at that for this tutorial. So we can go out of our value graph by clicking this button right here. And now let's go ahead and watch. And right after that, we want it to appear our video after. So let's go ahead and just close all these up so we can see everything. So we want it to wait just a second, and then you want it to, to close out. So like that. Then right here, uh, let's go just a little bit farther. Let's just rewatch it. So there, and then right here, we want it to start back. So now we're going to make it go down this way. We don't need any new planes or anything, we're just going to use the ones already, but we're going to do it opposite way. So here we go, we're going to go back into our top one now, because we need it to go down first. So right here, we're going to go ahead and set a keyframe. Like, so it doesn't really move, but it kind of looks like it. So we're just going to bring it up just a little bit to set a keyframe. Go ahead and go over 25, like our first ones. There we go, and go ahead and bring that down. Well, we should probably zoom out. To center it, right click, bring it to the middle. We don't need it that far in. Probably be right about right there. So now we gotta do the next one, so we're gonna go ahead, and this would kinda be like our original right here. Go forward eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Yeah. And then we can go down to our next one. Go ahead and just move it just barely to make it look like just to set a keyframe. Then go ahead and go over 25. So this is going to be like a little bit different because it's long ways now. But it's the same idea. You can mess around with this as much as you want to, to like move it to the way you like it. So there we go, and then we can go down to our plane three. Go ahead, just move it just a second, like just a little bit. Just move it just a little bit, and then forward twenty-five, and then go ahead and bring it down. So we're on to our last one now. So we can go ahead and open up our little, oh, we need to go back here and go forward eight. Hello. Yeah. Okay. One second.
So now that we've moved it for eight, go ahead and go down, set a little keyframe by just moving it just a little bit, and go for 25. This is the last one. So there we go, 25, and then bring it down. So now we're back to our transparent background, so let's go ahead and watch this. So let's go ahead and go back and change the size back to the scale to fit. Looks really good. So now we can go ahead and zoom all the way back out. And now we need to select all these, change them to man manual bezier. So it doesn't matter if we select all of them, all the keyframes. All we gotta do is just click the little circle. So now let's watch it again. And actually, let's watch it without all the little highlights. No, oh, it's really good. So now let's see how it looks with the video on it. So let's go ahead and go back. And we're going to go ahead and sl uh, slide in our slide composite shot down to the timeline. So let's watch it in this quality. Looks really good. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and separate them by just clicking and drag them, dragging them up into video 2. So let's go ahead and just grab a little video. Let's go with... Hmm. Don't really have any good videos. <laughs> well, here we go. Let's just go ahead and pull in this background. It's a good background. There we go, there's our background, and then we can just go and play this. Like that. And there you go. So now let's move on to exporting. Um, we're going to export that as an mp4. So go ahead and just copy all this. But uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, it would really help if you left a like. Um, feel free to comment. Uh, constructive criticism is always accepted. And uh, please subscribe and see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.